guys so today I'm going to show you how to download AnyDesk the reason for me to get AnyDesk is because um, I get calls from either my mom or my nieces or someone asking to help them out with uh, their computers well I don't really have a whole lot of time uh, to go out to their houses and fix it or anything like that so I've been doing some research and find out that AnyDesk is actually a really good uh, application for it so I can, uh, I can install it in their devices and I can actually remote in from either uh, my computer, a tablet, or my phone even if, uh, if I need to. So uh, I like the fact that it works with uh, Windows, Apple, and Linux. So it's a, it's a pretty cool well-rounded application so the first thing I need to do is go to any desk uh, and it's free to download and uh, go to their website download the application and as you can see on the bottom left corner the application has been downloaded so you don't have to click download any desk again uh, once you hit it the first time it will do it for you. So once it's downloaded, we're going to run the product and here we are. This right here is the, uh, the generic random number I've been assigned right now. If you purchase this application, uh, you can customize this number. So right now, this number right here is temporary. Once I purchase the application, uh, this number will no longer exist on my computer. So it's okay if you want to see it, you know, it doesn't really matter. So as uh, I have downloaded also uh, this application on my phone and on my tablet, I haven't downloaded on my Linux computer, and but I will, and I'll create another video when I do that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how can I remote connect to my computer from my iPad? Okay, so I have my iPad, and as you can see, I have the AnyDesk application on it. So I'm gonna All right, so now that we have the instructions down, I'm gonna say okay. And it's asking, or the key to connect to the computer you want to log into. In this case, the key is 171. And there you go. It's the same key as my computer. I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. On the computer, the remote computer you're trying to log in, it will say, uh, do you want to accept this connection? That will be the person on the other side you're trying to remote into their computer. You will have to say yes, or they, I'm sorry, they will have to say yes or accept. And here we are. Now I am remoted into my computer from my iPad. And uh, I'm gonna try to set them side by side like I had them before, just uh, for demonstration purposes. So now that I have the iPad, I can control everything I do on my computer. So, I'm going to go online again. Oh, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I have paused the video on, uh, on my computer there. So, the screenshot, the screen recording on my computer. So, anyways, so I'm going to go online, which is the last page I was going to do. I'm going to open a few applications from the computer and you can see real time how this is working All right. 
right so if uh, let's say oh there you go so you can set that up if you want to I'm gonna go to the files and uh, let's see if there are, there are any pictures in here This, by the way, is the computer again. I don't have, I don't have any pictures yet saved or, or anything like that. So, if I minimize the screen, uh, you can see I got, you know, the desktop again. Let's see if I can minimize this. Something else you can see. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the user will also be able to interact with uh, with the PC as you say it so that's it so it's just basically just a basic very basic uh, example of how can uh, you log into a computer from your tablet or your phone as well and uh, well, that's it then I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try to open uh, the snipping tool and let's select a new one. Click drag and so it's very cool. You can do a whole lot with it remote wise. Uh, I need to cancel that. I don't want to save that. Uh, well, I'll do it later. And uh, this is a screenshot. No. There we go. So, all right. So that's that's it. After you have that, you can go ahead and log out. All right. So let's say you needed to install uh, antivirus in a computer, and you're done. You can ask the person, okay, I'm done. Can you please go ahead and close the session? And what they'll have to do is, they'll have to go on the application, or they can just leave it open, and they will hit disconnect. And that's it, the session is closed. And you're no longer in the control of their PC. So now you see how great this program actually is and uh, how easy to download and to work with it this is. So I definitely would recommend to get this program if you need to help, help one of your uh, either friends, family members or just in general. As you can see, they also have the paid version, and with the paid version, uh, you can decide what what is it that you want to do it, uh, want to use it for. You have the light version, which is something more for like what I will be doing, just connecting to one computer at a time every now and then, uh, if it's absolutely needed. The professional version which, you know, if you have a, a small IT business and you want to provide remote support to your customers, you have a small clinic uh, with a few users and, uh, I don't know, a grocery store that you provide support to their uh, database or whatnot. So this is something else you can do. $229 for something like that. If you're actually using it for a small business, it's a steal. I mean, it's just $229. You can probably do that in like a couple of hours of uh, outside support and then you have the enterprise that you know it's I don't know how many companies or big companies will really be using this but I'm sure there are some uh, so anyways so for someone like me this will be great the light version $80 a year and I can remote into my sisters mom nieces friends wife computer 
and you know support from wherever I am. And uh, well, that's it, friends. Uh, I will definitely recommend this application to anyone. I'll make another video and show you how to set it up. So until the next time, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit like and see you later.